this, this, what I have to say from now until I conclude is absolutely necessary for all of your listeners to understand. It is elemental, it is fundamental, and it is vitally important. If you want to know what the Jesuit order is all about, you first have to know what the Protestant Reformation was. And I, I am, I am awed at the fact of just how many of those in the world who call themselves Protestant have no idea what the form of the word even means. It was a protest. And what was it a protest of? First of all, before the Protestant Reformation, the Bible was illegal to be read by the common man. The Bible was, uh, was banned and burned, and even those who read the Bible were burned along with their Bibles. Why was the Bible so dangerous to society during the so-called Old World Order? That is because the Bible, once translated into the languages of the people so that everyone could read the Bible, made no, uh, no small effort to describe who the Antichrist is. The Bible is literally rife with descriptions of the papacy. And when the people read the Bible in their own languages for the first time, they came to the unanimous conclusion that the papacy is the antichrist of the Bible. It is the counterfeit Christ in the world. It takes the place of Christ on earth. And we know that Christ needs no help. We know Christ needs no vicar on earth. He rules and reigns through the hearts of his people. It is a spiritual world, a spiritual society. It has an ingrained uh, law written on the, on the fabric of its own heart. And it is a society that will not be ruled by a man, especially not such a sinful, wicked organization as the papacy. And so these Protestants who were once Roman Catholic read the Bible for the first time in their own language, positively and unanimously identified the papacy, the leader of their own church, as the biblical, historical, and prophetic Antichrist. And they came out of that church and then realized that even the governments of their land were controlled by the papacy. The papacy seated the kings. The papacy unseated the kings. The papacy ruled all over the kings of the earth. That was the old world order. And now that they put Christ on his rightful throne, they must dethrone the Antichrist. So they rebelled against their papal governments. They overthrew their papal governments and formed in their place Republican forms of government, those that put the people as the rulers, since the, 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 the Holy Spirit dwells in each and every one of us, we don't need a man to rule over us. We have Christ to rule over us, and his law is written upon our hearts. And that was the power behind the Protestant Reformation, and that why, that's why it reformed all of Europe, and all of a sudden we had a new world order, an anti-papal new world order. It was a, a biblically-based order. It was, for all intents and purposes, as imperfect as it was, it was a holy order. And the papacy was nearly destroyed because of it. Look, if the Pope complain, uh, uh, describes himself as the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, but nobody serves him anymore, then he's lost his title, hasn't he? He's lost his purpose for existence in the world. Now, Germany was the first country that overthrew that papal dictatorship, that antichrist dictatorship. It was Germany that read the Bible. It was Germany who unseated the Pope and put Jesus Christ on the rightful throne. And that the Roman Catholic Church determined to destroy, lock, stock, and barrel, every vestige of Protestantism in Germany and in Europe America and the whole world to restore the old world order where the Pope once again ruled over the kings of the earth. Now comes the Jesuit order. The Jesuit order's purpose, it's stated 
its stated aim and goal is to overthrow the Protestant Reformation, to unseat all popular forms of government, all Protestant forms of government, and to replace it with a global papal dictatorship. And they can use any means to achieve that end, fair or foul. Now you know that the papacy had a particular hatred for Germany because Germany led the Protestant war against the Antichrist of the Bible. And Germany would be the, the main stage for the final restoration of the, of, of, of the papal dictatorship. And so the Jesuits went to work with their subtle duplicity, their indirection, their disingenuousness, and took a once Protestant land, put it under a fascist papal dictatorship, and used it to punish all of, it, of, of Europe that, that defected from the Roman Catholic Church and that put Christ on its rightful throne. And the Jesuit order is still at work today. It's at work in Europe just as much as in America and the rest of the world. Their stated goal is to destroy the Protestant Reformation. And since the Protestant Reformation was, was literally founded upon the Bible, where after all, the Bible's the one that woke up the world to the fact, the indisputable fact that the papacy is the antichrist of the Bible, the counterfeit Christ. It is the Bible that must be destroyed. Once again, the Bible be made illegal to read. And if that's not possible, to corrupt all the Bibles so that no one can ever again from the Bible conclude that the papacy is the antichrist. They have focused all of their efforts to destroy any notion any inkling, any any idea in anybody's mind that the Pope could be the Antichrist of the Bible. And that in that effort alone, they have been supremely successful. And if we're going to fight off the Jesuit order, we must first understand what their goal and purpose is. And before we can understand what the goal and the purpose of the Jesuit order is, we must first understand what the Bible says and what the Protestant Reformation represented. The Jesuit order is the counter-reformation. Righteousness cannot re reign in the world as long as there is a true Bible-believing Protestant in the world. And the Jesuit order is overthrowing Protestantism, and all the Protestant governments and restoring a global dictatorship which, which takes its orders once again from the papacy, another old world order. That's what the new world order is. If you, They never defined what the new world order is. It's just as simple as this. The new world order is simply the old world order of the Pope and the Roman Catholic Church restored on a global basis. And Germany is going to lead that counter-reformation. And it's going to do it through Adolf Hitler. And that's what this book is about. I, I'm sorry to have gone on so long, but one cannot glean the necessary information out of this book until he first understands what the Protestant Reformation was. It was a European recognition that the Pope is... The papacy, rather, is, was, and always will be the Antichrist, the man of sin, the son of perdition, that which deceiveth the whole world. That is a fact, a biblical, historical, and prophetic fact that cannot be successfully argued by anyone, no matter how articulate they are. The Protestant Reformation was a return to biblical Christianity. The Protestant Reformation was a return to Jesus Christ and him only. It was a return to the scriptures, and it revolutionized and, re and, and, and freed all of Europe. And the papists, with the help of the Jesuit order, the indispensable help of the Jesuit order, is restoring that old world order, and it's doing so only at the expense of the Protestant Reformation. It is Protestantism, the, the Bible, and Jesus Christ is what, is what the Jesuit order and the Roman Catholic Church are against. And yet, the world believes they are both Christian organizations. 
And that's just how magnificent their deceptions are. Back to you, uh, Yerk.